Hello, welcome to episode 367. I'm just going to be making an item display you can pick up. I've got this amazing tree here, and leaning against it is this little shovel. Maybe I'm in a graveyard, I'm going to dig up someone's grave. I don't know why I picked that as an example, it's pretty horrible. Anyway, I can just come up, I can right click on it, and there's my little shovel. Cool. Okay, I'm in version 1.19.4. Um, I think that's probably enough waffling. But, oh, I will say, I bet there's a better way to do this. So, as usual, make sure you check the pinned comments, just in case there's a better way. People can always add improvements, and that's perfect for me, because it means I get to learn as well. So, make sure to check to see if there's a pinned comment. Other than that, let's get on and build it now. Okay, right, we don't need any scoreboard objectives today. Um, we just need to create, so let's do that. And actually, let's get a... A little tree so we can have it leaning against a tree. Here's my tree. Let's put this down. Oh, I can't even select it. There we go. That's my tree. You can imagine that's a big, beautiful tree. Right. Let's do the command. I haven't put a sign on. That's very naughty. We'll do that later. Summon an interaction. Oh, I need some coordinates. Well, we've gone wrong already. Okay, let's get the coordinates of this block here. I'm going to have a leaning against that tree. Fill, tap, tap, tap. Control, copy. And I'm going to put the sign on. <laughs> Create. There we go. So summon an interaction at those coordinates. We're going to want some stuff for it. So we'll give it a tag. Uh, we'll give it two tags. It's going to be shovel and shovel input, because this is what we click on. And I'm going to give it a bit of width, 0.3. I'm going to give it a height, because I believe the item's going to be a little bit taller than one block. So we'll do 1.1. And it's going to want some passengers. Passengers. Which I'm just going to leave empty for the moment. Well, we'll say there's one passenger. There we go. But we won't fill any information in. Okay. I'm done. And I'm going to create it. There it is. Okay, so that's why our shovel's going to go in. Now, I want this to be up against this log. And I don't know if it's just me. If you know a way of doing this well, then please do tell me. But if I try and move this, so which direction? That's negative Z. Okay, let me get a little kill so we can kill them as well. Kill. Kill any entity whose tag equals shuffle. So let's get rid of that. Right, so I want to move it negative Z. Now you think it'd be able to come in here and I press D and move this. So I could do 14 and it will jump back into the log. So if I do 14, it's inside the log. Okay, so that's no problem. That worked as expected. So let's put it back to 15. Well, let's do 14.9. So 15 is where we want it. We want to move it a little bit. Let's do 14.9. So it jumps from here and we've moved it 0.1 and it's gone right inside the log. It's so awkward to move these things. I, I don't know why. But what we can do is move it afterwards, if that makes any sense. So we'll summon it back inside the block 15. And now if I make myself another block, and we'll just call this move. And we will execute as any entity whose um, tag equals shovel input at yourself run teleport yourself negative z and we'll do minus 0.1. Okay, let's summon it again. There it is. And now we can actually move it in small amounts. So what well, we did it three times. It seems to be up against the wall. Let's do it one more time. Okay, four, let's try four times then. So we've got one, two, three, four. Let's just change that to 0 0.4. Get rid of that. Summon it. Press that. No problem. It's only when you're actually summoning it that you have very little control. Please tell me if you know a solution to it. Anyway, 
All I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that move block, control middle mouse, and I'm going to stick it on the end of there. Now I have noticed that that input is not facing the right way. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that and I'm going to copy that side. And we'll just turn that around. There we go. Yeah, I don't know where that sign went. There it is. Okay, so now we can create it and then move it back. Cool. Job done. <laughs> Tedious, but job done. Please tell me if you know a better way. Right, let's give it a passenger. So its passenger is going to be ID. And it's going to be a Minecraft. Minecraft. Minecraft item display. And it will need an item. So little i, I believe, item. And that will have an ID as well, which we will say Minecraft. We're going to have a stone shovel. Stone shovel. And then we'll come out of those speech marks. We'll give it a count. Count 1B. Okay. Um, I should tag it as well, really. So let's come out of the item brackets. There we go. Tags. And we'll give it two tags. We'll give it the joint tag shovel. And I suppose we'll call this one shovel item. Or shovel display or whatever you want. I'll call it shovel item. Okay. Done. It's cool. It's all over the place. Now, I'm going to cheat slightly here. I went into Blockbench. Oh, no. BD Studio. Sorry. I went into BD Studio. And I played around with that to get all the transformation information that I needed. And I saved it. I saved it in here. So I'm just going to copy all of that. Copy. And I'm going to paste it. So we have count tags, shovel. We need to stay after the tags. There we go. That should be right. And we'll paste that. Uh-oh. Let's do a cancel. After the tags, and we have transformation, and then we'll paste that. Okay, so now we have our shovel leaning against the tree. Now, as I say, that's a bit cheaty. So what I'll do, I don't, I don't think I have time to make a whole BD Studio tutorial. I'll find a, a tutorial which shows you how to do some stuff, maybe make something and bring it into the game. Uh, and I'll link that down below so you can have a look at that. Um, if you just want this leaning against a tree, you can just copy this command exactly. Okay, so we have our shuffle. Now we just need a little controller. I do I do feel like I've cheated. I do. <laughs> uh, let's have a controller. I, I absolutely hate playing around with these item displays and stuff. They're, they just seem so unintuitive. They really do. Maybe because I don't have a brain, but okay, let's do execute as any entity whose type equals an interaction. Oh, you can see, there we go. Proof, proof that I don't have a brain. I can't even spell interaction. Whose tag equals shovel input. Um, that seems good. Add itself and what we're going to do is we're going to remove the interaction data from it and we're going to tag it. So we will store success entity itself into its interaction dot player data. We'll store it as an integer and we'll times it by zero. So we'll always put a zero in there on target. So if it's got a target, it's now going to reset that target. Now we've moved where the command is executing. Well, we've, we've changed its target. It's now executing on me. Still executing at the interaction player, but it's executing as me. So I want to get back to the interaction. So we will run tag any entity type equals interaction tag equals Shovel input distance equals less than 0 0.1 and we'll limit it to one as well. 
limit equals one. So that's going to go back and select itself again. And we'll add the tag, uh, it's take me or pick me up or something, take me. So when we right click on that, it's going to get the take me tag and forget that I right clicked on it. Um, to be honest, I think we might be able to change that. We'll get it working first and then we'll have a play. Now we're going to execute. Um, we'll just do an execute at, I think, any entity. Type equals interaction. Tag equals take me. Um, uh, yeah, at should be okay because we're just going to summon an item. Summon an item at those coordinates. What is that? At those coordinates. Okay, the item will have an ID, which will be Minecraft Stone Shovel. And it will have a count, count of 1B. And I'll, I'll tell you, I'll give, it a, I'll give it a pick up delay of zero. So if you're standing next to it, you can pick it up instantly. Pick up delay zero. Okay, cool. So now we've got a shovel appearing where that is. But now let's kill the uh, the ones that are already there, the, the display entity and the interaction entity. So if we... I think we could just do at a game. Let's, let's copy this beginning bit. So let's execute at type equals interaction, tag equals take me. Yeah, and we will run kill oh we'll run run will we no we won't we'll just run run kill any entity whose tag equals shovel and we'll say limit equals two so that will get the interaction entity and it will get the item display and we'll say sort equals nearest okay done now i think that's probably going to work let's be clear my inventory Let's turn that on. Okay, so F3B. Yeah, we can see that. Well, I think it's going to work, but clearly it's not. Okay, I wonder which bit's not working. Let's have a quick little read. Execute at type equals interaction, tag equals shovel input. Okay. Let's... Well, here we've tagged shovel input and it did move it. So that, that should be fine. That tag should be fine. At S. Store success entity into its interaction player in zero. That's probably fine. Run tag, interaction tag, shovel input. About the distance. So the distance should be fine. Add take me. Okay, let's try and TP myself to any entity, limit it to one, tag equals take me. Okay, so it got the tag. Summoned new air. Okay, so it summoned an air there. And we've got a space on the end of that one. Okay, right. So what have we done wrong here? Let's have a look at this command. Execute at interaction tag equals take me. That's gonna be fine. Summon item, right. Here we go. Here's, this is going to be our problem. Right. Summon item. One of these is going to need a capital. Does this need a capital I? Surely not. No. Summon item. I think this might need a capital I, doesn't it? That's it. Okay. I done. Whoa. Okay. So that was the bit that's wrong with there. <laughs> we've got a lot of items so let's have a look at that again just to see what it was obviously commands in description so you can always just go down there and copy them item here needs a capital i that was my problem there okay and our problem here was the old space on the end of the command so let's get rid of that space done let's try again okay so we're still not killing it let's clear my inventory Okay, let's have a... Oh, it's not turned on. No, there we go. <laughs> okay, right. Clear. 
So we'll summon a new one. We'll move it back. And when we right click on it, we pick it up. Cool. So it's all working now. So job done. Now, let's play around. Since we're killing it, I don't think we need to bother removing its interaction entity. I think we could just get rid of this bit. Let's not bother storing the success. I mean, it's going to die anyway. But we want on target. Because uh, otherwise it will just keep spawning them out. Okay, yeah, there we go. Let's try that. Well, hey, there we go. Cool. Okay, there we go. We have a little shovel leaning against the tree that we can um, pick up. Now, as I said, uh, I used BD Studio to get the transformation information. So I'll put links down there. I look like I've got a hole in my head. There we go. That's better. So we'll, we'll put links down there in the description so you can find BD Studio. And I'll find a tutorial which at least shows you how to do some stuff in it. Okay. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.